I'm back in the kitchen with Chef Jolie and Giannis, who is uh, the, your apprentice, really. Yeah, I mean, Giannis Belgium. has come with us. He's a professional chef, and we do an admirable, you know, I like to, because I come to this country that way, bring some younger people and kind of have them, you know, be part of the, you know, the, the restaurant. And um, yeah, he's been with us for six months, and he's from Belgium. Nice. I mean, a lot of time I get yeah. people from France or from you know Argentina or things like that. And sometimes we get we make mistake. We bring another Belgium gentleman <laughs> in the country. <laughs> but, uh, I don't think it's yeah. a mistake. Now you, you are from the Mirabel, and Chef Jolie, this is not only your restaurant, but it's also your home, and exactly. it's a place where people can go and they can enjoy some. You know, well, Mirabel is very unique to the valley because we was able to um, um, secure the ranch house you know where the old style before it was a resort yeah i mean we have that very homey feeling you know like going to somebody home and matter of fact me and my wife and the kids we still live above the restaurant and uh, you know that's kind of i mean we manage really much like a european restaurant you know it's like we're coming down i open the door the guy's coming we get ready for the evening we do everything from scratch i mean it's really kind of like that um, homey sensation i would say you know and um, people come there and the last thing you want is when somebody comes to your home, they leave not happy. I mean, the challenge is to keep everybody nice and happy. Yeah. And, um, you know, we, um, we we go from making the pastry to every ingredient on the menu. And, and that's why I say, you know, I don't think my cooking is very complicated. I think really, you know, we just try to do the, you know, make the very nice ingredient shine. You know, and I think that's kind of the challenge is just bringing something very nice, special. You know, people might not just find in the grocery store. And just make it the best we can, you know. And okay, what are you making this morning? Because I mean, it's already smelling incredible. Oh yeah, it's like you know we need to get cooking. It's, <laughs> um, I mean, what we're doing is um, you know every day at Mirabel we have a little uh, four course that what we call the gourmand menu, and it's like you know we bringing some stuff additional to the regular à la carte, and um, that way we um, you know we give an option to kind of play with some different food. Like for example, tonight this evening we will do like. You know, a little salad is probably going to be lobster and foie gras. We will have a little sea bass second course, and as a main course, we will have like a dog, for example. But, uh, you know, we, um, that's just going to be kind of an, an idea of what a second course looks like, you know. Okay. And uh, for that, I got um, a sea bass, and funny enough, the sea bass is from Colorado. It's a little farm um, when you got, um, you know, Colorado sea bass. And uh, we, um, you know, we're just going to, yeah, I got some little red pepper coolie. You know, I got to put on the plate to get some little flavor to the seafood. Gorgeous. You say it's so simple, so yeah, easy. No, Things I would never think to do <laughs> in my own kitchen. <laughs> cooking enough to stay simple, you know, just use some nice ingredients. And um, we're going to wait for the anise to get a tomato in there. And uh, what it is is some butternut squash, some shallot, little touch of garlic, some little heirloom tomato there. And we're going to do like a little compote with that to put in the thing. And what I do when I like to, um, you see I put a bit butter also at the yeah. end, and that's for really to um, get some nice crusty on the, you know, on the skin side. Oh my gosh, I, lo I love it. I feel like I'm just walking in into your kitchen. This is just what happens on a daily basis at the Mirabelle. Uh -huh. And if people are know. interested in booking their reservation for tonight, maybe they want to make sure that they can taste this incredible sea bass. What's, yeah. what's the best I mean, way to do that? We not. We only open in the evening. That means it's like, you know, after one, one or two o'clock, I think it's two o'clock. And um, we have um, the host going to be there to pick up the phone. And um, that number is 970-949-7728. And um, like I said, I mean, Mirabel is kind of a mom and pop, you know, um, restaurant, I would call it. You know, we've been there for, you know, um, since 91. I mean, we've been a fair share in the market. And um, I think it's, if we stick around like that, it's because we treat people fairly. And, you know, we do very little advertising. And um, we, um, we just do the best we can the way we like it. And it seems people keep coming back. I mean, we're very lucky as a chef, you know, to be able to do that. Well, I think there's a reason why, and I think you're seeing it on screen right now. Absolutely beautiful in just a few moments here on TVA Bale. And again, it's the Mirabelle. And uh, make sure that you put this on your list of things to do, places to visit while you're here. You know, when I told my friend, I said, if you don't take your wife to Mirabelle or your girlfriend, somebody else will. 
and, and I swear, I mean, we there for 25 <laughs> years, and it's disturbing when I saw that happen. But you know, <laughs> he's like, just uh, as an advice, as a body body, you know. <laughs> well, there you go. Some good Valentine's Day <laughs> advice from Chef Jolie. So make sure to stop on by and make sure that you're the one taking your wife or girlfriend to the Mirabel. This is just absolutely gorgeous. Great. Jonas, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. It's nice so to great to see you. Yeah. And we're going to take a look at your local weather forecast, so stay with us.